In this video, I will be showing you how to make an animated intro video for your YouTube channel that everyone is gonna fall in love with using Adobe Premiere Pro and it's gonna look like this. my friends welcome to another tutorial video here on my youtube channel Nimul TV if you don't know me my name is Nima and here on Nimul TV I post weekly vlog and also I post video editing tutorial that is gonna help you to grow your youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed yet please consider today in the beginning of this video I just wanted to take the time and thank every single one of you guys which have been supporting what I'm doing here on my youtube channel by subscribing by liking my videos and putting those beautiful comments below my videos and as I was reading your comments I found two comments asking me to make a tutorial video on how to create an intro video for your YouTube channel so you can put them in, in the beginning of your videos to grab the attention of your viewers so they will be encouraged to subscribe or watch more of your videos and yeah I made that video and, and I hope that you guys are gonna like it too and as always I've included the file that you might need in order to create this intro video below in the description so make sure to download that so let's don't kill time let's get started with our tutorial if you guys don't know how to create a project in Adobe Premiere Pro I'm just gonna link part of my tutorial which covers the basics of how to create a project or sequence using Adobe Premiere Pro above just find and click on it but if you already know it and you know how to use that we are all good and we can continue from here in step one what you need is to get at least two or three footages that you already have from what you're posting on your YouTube videos for example if I'm making weekly vlogs I just got like three different shots of myself talking to the camera uh, I'm just gonna need like three or four seconds of each I have three different videos of mine it doesn't matter what you're saying on them because we are just gonna unlink and remove the sound I want to create a sequence so I right click over here make sure that you're on assembly project you right click in this blank space you go to new item sequence and from the presets I go to red R3D since my videos are in 4k I just go to HD 4k and uh, this is the set preset that I select if you're posting in full HD just grab one of these presets depending on your frame per second okay I click on this I don't change anything else I go to create okay I have my sequence over here on my timeline and then I just uh, click on one of these videos okay this one I go to the I just need three seconds of that so I go over here mark in I play it like for three seconds and then I mark out I drag and drop it over here I use this screwball in order to zoom in so I can see that from this video I mark him from here I play like for two or three seconds stop mark out I drag and drop it next to this and then I have this one let's say from here marking let it play for like two or three seconds stop mark out and then uh, I'm just gonna copy these guys put the pointer over here and then I'm just gonna press ctrl V and paste them here I'm also gonna move these layers over here I click on this empty space and hit delete on my keyboard and we have no space the next step would be importing the music so if you go to your uh, YouTube studio and go to audio library section that you can see on your YouTube studio section uh, over here you have lots of free music that you can use the one that I've selected to be used over here and you can also use that on your video is called hand sight I've already selected that so this is the one that I'm gonna use I'm just gonna download it good and then I just drag and drop it over my project or you can just right click over here in assembly and import it okay if I play it all right I'm just gonna select all of my videos right click on link and then I'm just gonna select the sound and hit delete and remove them so I don't want any of those and in the next step I'm just gonna turn the color in all of these videos to black and white so I select one of them and I, I put this pointer over here I select this I go to color 
and in the color section you go to basic uh, correction you open that and in the saturation you put this on zero and then all you need to do to copy this select all of the remaining videos right click paste attributes make sure to uncheck and uh, the motion if it's selected and just select the lumetri color and hit ok and then all of your videos are in nice the next step which is the tricky part you need to trim each one of these short videos in a way that they are synchronized with the music so it feels better so if i play this one you see okay whenever this sound this click sound is happening i want the video to go to the next so okay so in here then it clicks i put the end of this in here and i drag this over here okay over here i end this here i bring the next next one here and then again i put this here i bring the next oh sorry and i bring let me check okay i end it here i bring the next one here okay i end this here bring the next one here again so it depends on how long you want your intro to be so for this uh, intro that I've designed I'm just gonna go for like 15 seconds if I end this here I'm gonna need more videos copy these and paste it here and remove this blank space I just click on this and hit delete so let me play it from the beginning you see Every time that it clicks, it goes to the next footage. So it gives the audience a better feeling. I'm just gonna cut it on 15 seconds. Uh, here is fine. So I remove this part and I'm just gonna end my music where this video ends. I just select this tool, the razor tool. Just click over here and then I go on selection tool, select this and delete. Select my music. I put the this pointer to the beginning of my video I go to editing and over here I make sure that this is in the beginning of the video I put the level on minus hundred I play it for three seconds or two seconds or like one second in this case and then I put this to zero so now if I play this make sure this uh, keyframe I mean animate toggle is on so you get these keyframes. So now if I play it, it's, it starts from like low volume and it goes up. Uh, in the next step, what I'm gonna do is to create that yellow background, which is gonna show up. Go to assembly. Over here I go to rectangle tool and I make sure that I select this layer and deactivate this. So the rectangle is gonna show up here. I just create a rectangle over here. So it shows up here and then I go to selection tool I click on this I just overlay it over my video it doesn't matter if it goes out of the frame that's fine okay just make sure it covers everything and then I click on this I go to editing I want to select the color I go to shape and I select from fill I select the color that I want for this intro I would love it I would like this to be yellow so I select the yellow and you're almost done. Make sure this rectangle is covering from the beginning of the video to the end. So I drag it over here so it covers everything. Select this, make sure that you're editing effect control. And over here, make sure that this is also on the beginning. So what we are gonna do is to scroll down and go to opacity, which you can find it over here. Make sure that it's animated. I mean, this toggle is on. And in the beginning, I want it to be on zero. So the video is going to show up and let it be playing for like two seconds and then add another zero. And after one second, you put this on a higher number, like 70, 70%. So it's going to look like this. The next step, what we need to do is to add the icons that we were using. In order to find the icons that you need, uh, it's a pretty cool website for downloading free graphics to be used on your projects. Let's say you're making videos about uh, travel. So one of the icons that you can use is travel. You just type in travel 
and it's gonna show you lots of stuff. For example, this airplane, you can use this. Just click on that and you download the PNG file. Just make sure that when you're searching, the filter is on free. So it shows you only the free icons. These are the icons that I've selected that are more relevant to what I'm posting. So I post weekly vlogs, I post uh, educational videos, I post fun stuff and we can learn together. Let's say these four uh, icons. So I just drag these guys and drop them to my project. So I'm just gonna start with the camera one. I drag it and drop it on my uh, timeline. Let's say from here. And it's like two seconds, okay? And the effect that I'm gonna use is, it's just gonna be animated from the right side of the screen and just go to the left. So I select this, I go to editing. First, I'm gonna need to adjust its size and location. So this is the right size for what I want it to appear in here. I'm just gonna move it using this position. I'm just gonna move it higher because I want a text to show up in here. So I move this higher and I put this on the beginning and then I move, use the X coordinate. I put it on the right, so out of the frame. I hit toggle animate and then I play it and then I bring it to the middle 1920 because it's 4k I don't change this and then I hold it for like I I select this I hit ctrl c or I just copy this I move this to where I want it to also maintain position I paste it and then I go to the end and then I move X so it goes off. So if I play it right now, it's too slow. So I want to make it faster. So I select these two keyframes. I bring them closer to this. So it's going to make it shorter. So I can end it in here because there's nothing to show. Nice. And uh, I just do the same to the other three icons. So I go to assembly, uh, let's say this one. I drag and drop it here. And then to make it easier and faster, I just select this, right click, copy, select this guy over here, right click, paste attribute, and you select the motion from here and you hit okay. So if I play it, perfect. So the duration of this is like two seconds. So I make this similar. So when it goes off, I just cut it from here. So right now it looks like this. So I need to make this closer. So it's gonna look better. So when it clicks, it goes out. And then I do the same to another one. Let's uh, do this guy, I just put it here. I already have that copied, so I just right click on this, paste attributes, motion, okay. And then I just check it. Okay, I end it here. And then the last one, which is this, I bring it here, right click, paste attributes, motion, Okay. All right. So I have everything ready. I just need to make some uh, minor adjusting to the timing. So I just play it again. Good. Good. Okay. This one is, has some kind of delay. So let me just adjust it. I just zoom in. I make this over here. I bring it earlier. Nice. And I just drag and bring the last one also here okay I just cut this let me just nice now everything is kind of synchronized so I put this on full so right now we have this yes 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 so everything is good so so now the remaining part is adding the text and adjusting that. In order to do that, I go to uh, type tool over here. I select, uh, I just add another track. I go to add track. So I have another track here. I deselect this and select this track. And uh, after I have my type tool selected, I just click over here. I say weekly vlogs. 
and then I go on select tool, I select this, I go to editing, and then I just need to adjust the font uh, color and font size and font type. So in the file that you're gonna download, I've already put the, uh, the font that I'm gonna use on this. It's called the prime time. So I select it, I put the color to black, and I make it bigger, and then I just bring it to the center. Weekly Relax. Nice. And then I just put it where this guy begins. I put the ending here, and then I just copy this. And then I just deselect this and paste it. One, two, three. And then let's just make some adjustments. This is for here. This text belongs to here. Weekly Relax. The second one, let's say tutorials. I use this font, tutorials, and then I just adjust it to be in the center, uh, explore. I put it in the middle, over here, and fun stuff. Let's say fun stuff, fun stuff is kind of, might have some bad interpretations. So. I put funnier stuff. Victory Vlogs. Tutorial. Explore. Funnier stuff. Okay, and now I'm I, I just want to crossfade this. So now I want to use a transition effect. So I kind of crossfade these texts when the next one shows up. So I go to effects. And then from here I just type in cross. So I have the cross dissolve. So I just need to make some spacing between this. This is just a temporary spacing. And then I just drag and drop it in the beginning of this one. And it's ending, again, beginning, ending, ending. And now I double click on the first one. I set the time to zero, 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 everything is zero. Just the last digit is six. And then I double click again, copy this, double click over here, paste, double click on this, paste. So we have the, we need the same timing. Six. Now I just want to get rid of these spacing. So I just drag and put it here. Same to this one and same to this one. I want the white layer to appear in this layer, so I select this and assign this to V1. And over here, I select the same rectangle tool and I just draw a rectangle shape over here. And then I go to selection tool and make it as big as it can get. And then from editing, effect control, shape, or you could just do that in effects. Yeah, and I choose color white. So I go to effects and I use the same cross dissolve in the beginning. And I don't change the duration, I want it to be long. So exactly in here. And when it goes white, I want the logo of my channel or the profile picture of your channel to show up or just type in the name of your channel. Uh, in this case, I have the logo of my channel in MultiView ready, so I just import it. So I just drag and drop it over here. And I want it to start from here and end where my video ends. And I want the music to kind of fade away from here and goes to zero volume. So I select my music, I go to e editing or just over here. So this is the initial part where it was minus 100 and we set it to zero. Now from here, we want it to go from, you type zero again, I want it to go from zero and at the end, or you can just select it from here, I want it to go to minus 100. So I have the wipe sound effect, I just drag and drop it here and then I just double click over here. I want this guy. So 
So I select the beginning, mark in, I let it play, and I mark out, and then I just drag and drop it over here on the sound section. So if I play it right now. So I want to add this sound effect to where the icons kind of go out of the screen. So it's going to be the ending. And again, I copy this and I make sure that A1 is over here and I hit Ctrl V on the keyboard and again one here and one here. So if I play it right now, yeah, and you have an awesome looking intro video for your YouTube channel. And as the final step, you just want to export this. So you just go to File, Export, Media, and over here I have H.264 as my format, and I want to match the source. I hit here and select the name, and you export it. And yeah, you have a perfect animated intro video that you can use on all of your videos that you're posting on YouTube channel. If you had any questions regarding to this tutorial, let me know below in the comments. I've recently posted two more tutorials. The first one is on how to add an animated subscribe button to your YouTube videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. And the other one is how to add social media bar or banner to your to the beginning or the middle section or the ending section of your YouTube videos in order to promote your Instagram page, Facebook page on your videos. If this was useful and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that today. Take care and thank you for watching. Mokhles.